Let's learn Python by building. We're going to build a random password generator. To start off, we'll create a main.py file on our desktop using the Sublime text editor. This is the tool we'll use to write our code. To generate our password, we'll create a variable that contains all of the potential characters for our password, say lowercase, uppercase, digits, and punctuation. Instead of writing out all of these characters manually, we'll use constants that are built into Python as a part of the string module. We can retrieve all of the lowercase and uppercase letters with string.ascii letters. This is a predefined value that doesn't change, and it's a part of the Python standard library. Then we can retrieve the digits and punctuation in a similar way. To combine them all in one string, we'll use the concatenation operator, or the plus sign. Now, a password isn't just all of the characters lumped together. We need to figure out which characters to use and in what order to generate the password. We'll do this randomly with the random module. To pick a random character from our characters variable, we'll use the choice function. This will pick one character out of the character string. Now, we'll want to do this for as many characters as we want in the password. Let's say 12 characters. This for loop allows us to repeat the random choice step 12 times. To merge all of these characters into one string, we can use the join function. Then we'll save it in a variable called password. Now we just need to get this to our user, and we can do that by outputting it from our program with a print statement. Our code is written. Let's run it. We'll use the terminal, which is also called the command prompt or the command terminal in other operating systems. To ensure you have Python installed, run Python 3 dash dash version. You should get a version back if Python's installed. To run the program, we'll use Python 3 desktop main.py. There's our generated password. Let's create a few. To build on this, we can let users choose the length of their password. This means we'll need a way to retrieve user input. And we can do that with the built-in input function. This will display the message, enter password length, and then wait for the user to respond. When the user responds, we'll save their response in a variable called password length. The input will automatically be returned as a string, but we can convert it to a number by casting it to an int. This puts it in the right format to be used within our range code, and we can replace this 12 with the new value. Make sure to save this file before running your code. Let's create a password with four characters. Now eight. What about 12? It works as expected. Now to clean up our code a little bit, we'll wrap our password generator code into its own function. This will allow it to be more reusable if someone wants to use it later on. They won't have to recode how to generate a password. They can just use our function. This is just like how we used the choice and input functions in our own code. We didn't have to reinvent the wheel. Now, since we moved to the input line, we'll need to pass the input into the function. We can do that by adding a parameter, and we'll update our range call. def defines our function. To actually use it, we'll need to call and execute the function. We'll update our print statement to call it. Notice, this looks pretty similar to how we executed the input and choice functions. Let's run our program. And it works just like before, but now it's much cleaner. In less than five minutes, we created a random password generator in Python. It retrieves user input and it uses built-in functions in order to generate that password. Thank you for watching and happy coding.